Hi, welcome to Grandparents Teach 2, Learning Through the Seasons. And uh, we have some more ideas for grandparents. 37% of us are taking care of grandchildren three or more times a week. And our book, Learning Through the Seasons, has a lot of good ideas to help out. And many of the things, or most of the things, are just using materials that you have around uh, the house. So here's another one. We know that children zero to eight have very short attention span. And uh, so this is a short activity that you can do. You'll just need um, some uh, tin foil and some pennies and uh, some water. That's it. And we're going to take a look about what things sink and what things float and why. So one thing you can do is to take this uh, tin foil and do some uh, folding and uh, with young children you can kind of help them out. You don't have to really do it for them but just kind of guide them. And older young children they can just kind of make a canoe or uh, a barge or maybe uh, if grandpa has a boat they can make a boat that looks like grandpa's boat. But they're all different styles and the whole idea of this is to show them that uh, different materials have molecules packed in tightly together and so um, they can uh, sink because they have more molecules, more material than the water that they take the place of. And some things have a lot of air and molecules that are spread apart and so they don't have as many molecules as what they take the place of and so they're going to float. So you can just show them, you know, penny, and I, we use pennies, oh I forgot to mention, you need something to put in this boat you could, because you're going to try to sink it. And pennies are nice because there's a one-to-one -one correspondence and you can count very easily. So here's a boat that I just made up and you could make a canoe, uh, just any kind of style boat that you want to, but just show them, oh look, this is full of molecules that are really, really dense and so look at that, it goes right to the bottom and the, the molecules are firmly packed together. Whereas, let's see, I wonder how many pennies it would take to sink this boat and so they can count and count one two three four it's good practice for the little kids too and you keep on putting the pennies in I'm doing it fast but you would do it slowly and they would count one at a time and I'll try to make it so it doesn't sink tip over because sometimes that happens too but you just redo it whoa now mine I think I could have um, more pennies if I would have been more careful. But that's okay because you can talk about sinking the boat. Now this one is more of a canoe style and you know that we've had as many as 50 pennies and you probably can do more than that. I'll try to be more careful with these. But uh, the one-to-one -one correspondence is really good for little kids so that they can understand that counting is much more than just memorizing a bunch of numbers. That it's really all about one object is one uh, number. And that's just what, like, oh, there it goes. And I think I only had about 12 in there. So I'm not doing so well. Little kids do a lot better than I do. Well, what other things would sink or float? And you can kind of guess, you know, would, would, do you think this would sink or float? Are there more molecules, more little uh, bits that would uh, be in here than in the water? Let's see. Nope, it sinks. How about this? Would there be more uh, molecules in this shape than the water that it takes the place of? Pretty, pretty much the same. That one's floating. 
How about this paper? Is paper going to float or sink? Ah, it's going to float until the water is absorbed by the paper. So this is a good way to explain why boats float because you have um, fewer molecules here, um, fewer bits and pieces in the boat than the water that it displaces, that it takes the place of. So just a quick activity, you can do this in the kitchen sink. Um, a lot of times children like to build Lego underwater um, cities. But water is everywhere and a really great friend for grandparents. So, I hope you have fun with water and just a few things around the house. I'm Iris Caters, and behind the camera is Fran Darling. And this is Grandparents Teach Too, Learning Through the Seasons. Have fun with water and your grandchildren. <laughs>